so this uh, the from the scriptural we point is deep sleep is a or shastra or brahmana upanishad deep sleep is indication of the state of a self realization or brahmadan indication okay so you cannot say i don't know what brahmadan is i can't say uh, what is brahmadan what is brahmananda i can't deep sleep state is the indication of brahmananda this non dual then there's bliss right but that you have to only experience in the that you have to have in waking state because waking state the mind is coming to which that's the cause of the problem the, your ignorance is in the waking state right so the example given is a bird is there the bird keeps flying in the morning when the, the moment sunrise have moment there is sunrise bird goes for bird goes for searching for food it will fly it will it will uh, it will search then by the time it is evening it gets tired okay and it comes back and it goes back into its nest and rests goes to deep sleep in the rest nest similarly the jivatma individual soul which is chidavasa okay in the waking condition it appears to be traveling enjoying working because of the mind it's associate it appears to be associated with the mind it gets tired stressed because duality is appearing and it doesn't know the chidavasa doesn't know i am the self okay so it's getting tired then it comes back and sleeps and in the sleep it becomes one with the, it's called pradna pradna is the name of the deep sleep so now in the pradna is nothing but indication of is directly brahman pure awareness you have you have become one with the pure awareness in the deep sleep you are already in one with the pure awareness okay you have you have returned back to brahman state brahman in pure awareness every day only thing which have to happen is you have to happen do it in the day time waking state because waking state is the state of ignorance actually person who is waking up thinks that deep sleep is the state of ignorance it's other way <laughs> hmm? so for the people say in the waking deep sleep state they say ignorance for the self ignorance for the self in a subtle form right others why do you wake up in tomorrow morning they say ignorance for the self in the deep sleep right in the waking state the waking state the world is there in a gross form in the dream state or deep sleep state it has gone to subtle form okay the self which is chidavasa also has got ignorance in the deep sleep state people say the jiva jiva has no ignorance in the deep sleep state because jiva is nothing but brahman only okay jiva has no ignorance or no gnana it is brahman only the ignorance or gnana is superimposed also the mind superimposing on the self jiva is self only are you getting what i'm saying you say oh i have ignorance i have to get rid of ignorance then again another problem starts i have to get rid of ignorance in this sleep i am getting ignorant <laughs> ignorance is gone in deep sleep there is no ignorance the self has gone back to the self the individual self has gone back to the universal consciousness jivatma has merged with the paramatma okay because ignorance is for the ego mind which doesn't exist in deep sleep the ego mind ego mind has gone to settle for form. the moment you wake up that ego mind is superimposing the ignorance on the self it's like a movie is there screen okay there is a movie projected in the waking state you see one uh, the waking state is equal to some wonderful war movie going on then the interval the movie is paused okay nothing is happened to the screen 
then again the movie comes up the screen disappears huh? so please understand you are the screen you are not the movie <laughs> Otherwise, people start thinking, oh, Jeevatma has also got some ignorance while going to sleep. That means screen also has some problem in the uh, interval. No. War movie, so much of violence is happening. Somebody is getting killed in the war movie. In the interval, the screen is off. Uh, the movie is off. Okay. So, you say, next, immediately the movie comes up. No. That means screen has some problem. War, has, war is there in the screen. <laughs> war is not in the screen. War is in the projector. <laughs> The movie of your life is in the mind, not in the Atma, not in the Self. The moment your morning comes up, okay, the movie starts projection again. Then you say, I am the Jiva. Okay? The ignorance or the Nana doesn't belong to the Self. It is in the mind. That's why all scriptures say, Mana eva karanam manushyanam manda mokshiyo. Mind alone is the cause of bondage and liberation. The problem is in the mind, the solution in the mind. So what we are thinking is the problem is in me and solution is me. The problem is not in me, solution is not in me. I am just a screen supporting, I am like sun, I am like pure awareness. Atma has no bandha, no moksha. Nitya Shuddha, Nitya Buddha, Mukta. Are you clear?